What's up guys? Today we're doing a Mad Hatter. And I had a lot of fun with this one. Like I would do one thing and then start chuckling. But if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. Alright guys, we're gonna just dive into this Mad Hatter look. Um, I'm going to white out my face, but before I do like my face face, I'm gonna do my eyes with my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in All Around White, so I can like white out really close to my eyes, and then we'll put the white paint everywhere else. All right, so starting off, I came in with my Mehran Paradise Paint. It's water activated. I like it because it's really blendable. You can kind of buff it to a finish, and then um, it's nice and lightweight because it is water soluble. I then came in with some blush to kind of chisel in my cheekbones and give me that like Mad Hatter smile line that continues all the way down through my chin. I kept going in with the contour and kind of gave my forehead the Johnny Depp transformation and got to use my Clairol Color Crave. I think this is the shade Bronze, but it is the perfect Mad Hatter shade. I put it in the beginning so that I could let it dry um, and then I would style it later on. The color crave really is like a nice metallic like paint almost so I kind of feathered that into my hairline to make it more believable and came back in with the blush and contoured out my nose to make it very Mad Hatter-esque just like kind of the cover of the Alice in Wonderland moving through the looking glass. And for the eyes I did a different um, color on each eye so I did orange underneath one eye and then pink underneath the second eye and then on the tops of the eyes I used blue on one eye and green on the other. I came in with the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. I love these pencils so much. I have the entire collection. They're nice and blendable. They're really like colored pencils for makeup artists. So you can blend them, you can shade them, you can use them as liners, you can use them anywhere as eyeliners, lip liners, um, or shadows, so it's really, really cool. And I came in with a custom Morphe palette that I made for myself. Um, with the orange shade and the pink shades. I also use colors from this palette for the blue and the greens on top as well. Once the shadows were done, it was time to make myself some crazy Mad Hatter brows. I used my Artist Color Pencil, the orange shade, once again to come in and kind of draw on these just like wild eyebrows. And then I used the same orange pencil to shade in my natural brow just to cover up some of the like darker hair that I had and blend it and kind of make it all come together and look like it's one eyebrow. For my lips, I used the same pink shade that I used um, as my eyeliner in the one eye, so it kind of looked cohesive. I added a little bit more chisel and a little bit more color um, to my face, and then you have to have the white eyelashes. This kind of set the entire look off. I used my Mehran paint for these. And then on my natural lashes, I used a CoverGirl Lash Primer, which is white, so I just kind of finished off my natural lashes with that. Grabbed my curling wand now that my hair color was pretty dry and threw in some just wild curls. I didn't get, you know, too precise with it because I knew I was going to just add in as much Puff Me volumizing powder as possible and just tease it to high heaven so that I had the, you know, crazy Mad Hatter lip glowing. For the finishing touch, I grabbed a nice thick purple ribbon and just tied it around my neck so that I had like a big 
oversized bow tie, kind of floppy. Again, you can use any kind of ribbon that you want. You know, just make it look crazy and you're basically on theme. Finished off with my Mad Hatter hat, which is a headband that I got from Michaels. And we were ready to go. Final touch is the hat. Duh, can't be a Mad Hatter without the hat and your bow tie. <laughs> All right, guys, we're done. I hope you enjoyed this look. Hope you have fun with it if you do it yourself. If you enjoyed it and liked it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can see what else we got going on. I'll see you next time.